In this lesson, we are going to talk about what regression is. Least squared regression or linear regression is a model or a mathematical equation that is used to describe the linear relationship between two quantitative variables. Many times two quantitative variables have a relationship with one another, but many times it's not linear. If there is a quadratic relationship between two variables, two quantitative variables, least squared regression cannot be used to model that type of relationship. Least squared regression can only be used to model a linear relationship between two quantitative variables. Before we can talk about a model, we need to believe that there is a true linear relationship between our variables x and y. Variable y is called our response variable and x is the explanatory variable. We have two parameters, alpha and beta. Alpha is the true y-intercept of the relationship and beta is the true slope of the relationship. We're going to talk in further detail in a minute but many times alpha, the true y-intercept, doesn't have true meaning in your particular model. The explanatory variable is used to describe the response for variable y. For instance, if we believe that there was a linear relationship between a person's final adult height and the person's father's adult height, we could model it using a linear relationship. A person's final adult height equals some y-intercept plus some slope times the father's adult height. We are using the father's adult height to predict a person's final adult height. Once we believe that there is a true linear relationship between two variables, we want to talk about how can we model that relationship. That's where the least squared regression model comes into play. Our least squared regression model is of the form y hat equals a plus bx. y hat is the predicted response at a given x value. If we have a particular x value, we put it into this equation and out comes what we would predict our response to be at the given x value. To be able to do that, we need to know what a and b are. a is our estimate for the parameter alpha in the true linear relationship, and b is the estimate of the parameter beta, the true slope. b estimates the true slope in our true linear relationship. So how do we do a least squared regression? We have our true model and we have what we would like to get, our model that will model that true relationship. The idea behind least squared regression is we obtain a random sample of data pairs X and Y. We use those sample, sample data pairs to get A and B, our estimates of alpha and beta. Once we have estimates for alpha and beta, A and B, we have our least squared regression line. Once we have our model, we use that model to predict responses, y hat, for different values of x, the explanatory variable. So once we use the data to find A and B, we have our model, we put in a particular x value, and out we get is a predicted response at that level of your explanatory variable. Remember we said that alpha and therefore a sometimes do not have true meaning in our linear model. Let's talk about why that might be the case. Let's go back to the linear relationship that we thought might exist between a person's final adult height and that person's father's adult height. When we are picking random sample of data pairs x and y, the data that we are recording is x is a particular father's adult height and y is their child's final adult height. We take, let's say, 20 of those pairs. We use 20 of those pairs to find a and b. What values will we have for father's adult height? Will we have any x data near zero? No, a father's adult height will not be near zero. In the case where our x data that we use to estimate alpha and beta to get a and b, 
when that x data is not near zero, many times alpha and a do not make sense for your particular problem. We could get a negative y-intercept for our model. What does that mean? If a person's final adult height is zero, which doesn't make sense, the offspring of that father would have a negative height, which doesn't make sense. So when your x data that is used to find your parameters a and b are not near zero, many times that y-intercept will not have meaning in your problem. Now the question arises is, how do we use our sample pairs x and y to find a and b? There are many different lines that could be drawn through the data points to get a linear model. The least squared regression line is the line that minimizes the sum of the squared vertical distances between each data point and the regression line. Let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at a data set. Here we have 10 different XY pairs and we plotted them in an XY coordinate grid. We see that there appears to be a linear relationship between the two variables X and Y. Let's draw a line that we think might model that data. Let's suppose we think that that is a good estimate for the linear relationship between X and Y. What least squared regression does is it calculates the vertical distance between the data point and the line that you have formed. It squares these and it adds them all up. The least squared regression line is the line that has the, the smallest vertical distance squared added together. So we take this distance and square it, and we add it to this distance squared, this and add it to this distance squared, continuing through all the data points, and add it to this distance squared. If it is the line that minimizes that value, we have our least squared regression line. So what you need to remember in least squared regression is that of all the lines that you could put through this data, here's another line you could put, of all the lines that you could put through that data, the least squared regression line minimizes the sum of all of these distances squared. And that is the essence of least squared regression.